Good morning, everyone. This is Miss Tina, and it's time for your moment for household worship. And this morning, I have Terry Fisher with me, who was um, one of our mentors to Sam Carnes uh, for this year's confirmation class. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Tina, and good morning, Presbyterians. This morning, we are having a short conversation about rediscovering joy when you can't see it yet. And that certainly, I think, describes the experience of our confirmation class this year. Um, Terry, what was it like being a mentor? Well, honestly, when I was asked to be a mentor, I thought, oh, can I do this? Because I thought I'm not qualified and I don't know the Bible that well. And will I have all the answers? that he might ask. And then I got to thinking that when I worked at the dentist office for 30 years, I trained people all the time and I answered their questions, but it was something that I knew about. So it was easy to do. Um, part of me held a little bit of hope that both of Sam's parents were pastors. And I thought between the two pastors and God, I said, between those three, we ought to have all the answers. So it'll be okay. And it certainly was. Did you have fun with that experience? I did. And I got to know Sam a lot better. And I did not know that an 11 year old could have such insight. Um, he's very intelligent and very fun, very easy to get along with. And so he and I explored different parts of the Bible and asked questions. Sometimes he'd ask a question that I had no idea what the answer was, but I'd say, I'd write down, ask your dad. So that worked. <laughs> And so you had fun in the process and getting to know Sam. I did. Yep. That's wonderful. And then here we have this hope of confirmation coming and all of this hard work that's happening that everybody's putting in and developing relationships with each other and with God. And then COVID hits and classes stop, meetings stop. And we wonder, okay, how are we going to finish this process? Um, what did that feel like? Well, a little bit like a, um, a punch in the stomach, I guess, because everybody wants things to be normal again. And I thought, gosh, we've just gotten through our, because we had three required meetings and then we went to church together three times and we went to a meeting of the, I think it was the meeting of the session. And we had all these things done and all of a sudden, boom, it was over. And it was like, oh my gosh. And so from then on, we had to continue on with Zoom meetings and that type of thing. But I knew that eventually a normal thing would happen. You know, I held out hope. So, yes. And so here we are today after that waiting and wondering and and looking forward to something happening and it not happening. Here it is happening today. And we can have joy in celebrating the achievements of these young people and the hard work that all of you mentors put in. Um, we can have joy in the fact that these relationships have been developed and can continue to grow. And we can have joy that we are accepting these young people as members into our faith community and not just members, but contributing members. They have, they each have unique voices and they each have unique gifts to offer. And we can celebrate and be joyful about that today. That's a wonderful thing. In fact, you know what? I've already asked Sam what committee he wants to be on. I said, because when you're a Presbyterian, you need to be on a committee. He says, well, maybe not just yet. I said, that's okay. That's fine. So, but he's looking forward to it. I know. So That's wonderful. That is wonderful. Thank you for being a part of this process. And thank you for helping us celebrate our young people. And thank you for being here in this interview this morning. You're very welcome. Thank you. God bless everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.